Hi everybody, this is Nick. Today I'm going to show you a very quick tip that will help you organize your spreadsheet. So we see lots of spreadsheets like this. This is one that we just used for a zip code lookup video that we made. And you can see that when you have a lot of rows and columns, you can scroll down like this with your mouse and you can really easily get lost in these spreadsheets. So haven't you seen where uh, somebody sort of freezes the top row and top column or freezes just the top row so that when I scroll down, you can still see what that column represents. It's so easy in Excel. All you need to do is go up to, let's see, we're gonna say, this is probably probably where you are on the Home tab, but from the Home tab, just click on the View tab, and then over here under the Window menu, click on Freeze Panes. Now when you click on this dropdown, you have some options. You have Freeze Pane, uh, freeze panes, you have freeze top row and freeze first column. So let's go ahead and just say freeze top row. It's going to freeze the top row of your spreadsheet. So now when I do that, I'm just going to scroll down and you can see now that the top row is perfectly there. Now if I go back to the freeze panes and say freeze first column, it's now going to just uh, freeze the first column so that when I scroll over, if I had a whole bunch of columns, you would always see that first ID column in the mix. If you want to do uh, get rid of that, all you have to do is go back to the freeze panes menu and then click on unfreeze panes and now we're back to normal. Now the real trick is to freeze that first row and first column or some other uh, set of columns and rows that you designate. So if I want the first uh, row and the first column to both be frozen, all I need to do then is look at where the cut point is. So I'm gonna put my cursor here in this cell, B2, because that is where the cut point is for the first row and the first column. If I click on freeze panes and then say freeze panes, it will freeze the first row and the first column. When I go over, you can see that that column and that row is also frozen. Now, you could also make this sort of a custom thing. Let's go back to freeze panes, unfreeze panes. Maybe I just want, um, uh, maybe I want all the way over to the city or the county uh, frozen, that column. So what I would do then, if I wanted the city column frozen, is click and the top uh, row, click in D2 right here in this county level one, and then we're gonna say freeze panes right here, and now you can see that it's now frozen the first three columns and the top row. So if I scroll down, that's good, and then I can scroll over, and it'll keep everything in those first three columns, but keep those, uh, but keep, um, those first three columns frozen. Pretty cool, Free, uh, frozen. I'm gonna go ahead and click unfreeze, and now we're back to normal. So this is just a really quick uh, Excel tip for working with those spreadsheets that have a lot of rows and columns of data when you really wanna make sure that you are keeping track of what those header values are or maybe what those values in that first column are. So go ahead and use that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and the bell next to it. You'll get notified every time I post a new video in data design, usually PowerPoint, Excel, or Word. I had a great time making this for you and I can't wait to see you all next time.